This upcoming contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It is for the Cage Wars Heavyweight Championship. This championship bout is sponsored by Matt Tarullo, managing partner of Cetera Investors, a member of the Esley Group. This contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds. It is for the Cage Wars Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in yesterday at 245 pounds, representing Brian Bury Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu out of Waterfleet, New York, James Thor Carroll. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in last night at 240 pounds, representing 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu out of Allentown, PA, Tony Borzik. We see the Cage Wars gold that's on the line, folks. Al, you've worn that belt. Mm -hmm. What were your feelings going into a title fight like this? How do you how do you try to clear your mind, stay hyper focused? It's either him or me. Yep. Uh, I, I either get hurt, or he does. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you're at home or in these stands, do not blame. <laughs> Borzik Carroll for the vacant heavyweight title. Borzik in the red corner, Carroll in the blue. And here we go. Look at the reach of those guys, too. That's going to mm. be a, a very tough game for both gentlemen. Right James. off the bat, you see the stance switches from James Carroll as well, so you can see him to look, probably kick low and go high like he did with Josh DePace. He does a nice job switching those stances when he steps backwards. Both these guys downloading some information, fainting to get a reaction. In this weight class, it's it, you have to see, there it is. Uh, you have to respect the power on both ends. Any big guy can put any big guy out. I think Borzik knows he needs to close this distance. He doesn't want to be at distance with a guy like Carroll. But Carroll is just power, though, isn't he? They call him Thor for Man. a reason. He's got that hammer. He's got Mjolnir in one hand and Stormbreaker in the other. It's just, yeah, everything just come, comes out heavy. Some guys are like that, too, Al. Like, it, they could be a little... But methodical, but it's just thumpy. It's thud, right? Yes. It's a, it's and here we go, Borsig against the cage. Like I said, he wanted to close that distance. What can James do here? Now, one thing I wouldn't do if I was Carroll is stay straight like he is. I try and get off to one side and push his head away as best as I could. Dig an underhook? Yes, absolutely. You got to get a big man like that off you. And it's tough with that left hand on the overhook to turn to his left side. So there he goes, digging that underhook. He's doing a great job defending so far. He's grabbing wrist control, which is always a great thing, and he's starting to get his hips, but he can't square his legs like he almost just did. And Borzik, Borzik doing a good job going from leg to leg, changing the attack. Absolutely. Mm, took a good that, clean that shot was a there, really too. Good shot. But if I'm Carroll, I'm, I'm circling my butt off the cage as fast as I can. Borzik's a big, strong guy. That's what he's looking to do by locking those hands, but Borzik with that pressure. Yes. And honestly, uh, it's tiring both guys right now because Borzik's putting all his weight in that cage and he's putting it right into Carroll's, but wrapping your leg there is not good. You're taking a mechanical advantage away from yourself. And Carroll pushing down the neck, but Borzik not in any danger really here. Forty seconds left to go in our first round for the Rel heavyweight title. Relatively uneventful round. They're both feeling each other out. Right. A lot of respect for both guys. I think they definitely felt each other's strength. I think Borzik was shocked by how fast uh, Carroll's feet are as well. That's great escape. He's got to circle more. And, uh, and Carroll was able to keep him honest with at least one or two clean shots there. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if you see two kicks in a row. Boom. Oh, oh, that was a oh. good job by Borzik reading that. Looking for the back. Carroll's doing a good job trapping that leg. He can walk up. That was excellent job. Great Ten wrestling. Seconds. Good punches by Borsik. Yeah, late flurry. Could be enough to possibly win him the first round. Really tough to score. You know, but he had a lot of control time against the cage. James didn't really land any heavy strikes. I mean, if I'm a judge, I'm looking at Borsik for the control time. I agree. Uh, the other thing, too, it was cool to see at the end of the round is you've seen James Carroll struggle with guys on the mat, big, heavy wrestlers like Corey Norman a couple years ago, and just to see him get up 
and really try and fight back, which was really good. I mean, the shelf of the single leg was really good, uh, but I agree. I think Borzik did just a little bit more to stay active. Round two. Here we go, our beautiful Cage Wars girls. We're joined by uh, Cage Wars champ Al Mora while we have a second. Uh, what's on the horizon for you? When can we see you fighting again? Hopefully January 6th in uh, the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut is the goal. We're just okay. waiting for an opponent to not drop out for once. <laughs> so you've had some you've had some bad luck with that? Unfortunately so. It's almost been a year. It's driving me crazy. Now, what oh. happens when they're pro? Don't you lose money or something because you sign a contract? No, before the contract sign. Oh, okay. Usually, but they'll try and find someone new. Why are, are people are, are do they does it seem legit while guys are why guys are dropping out? You think I you're think being so. ducked or a combination of both? I think injuries play a big part to it. I'd like to see one of these guys in my pro debut, maybe for Cage Wars somewhere down the line. Oh, we'll put it out there in the ethosphere and you never know. <laughs> round number two. Borzik versus Carroll. Good first round. Strategic. And like you had mentioned, Will, downloading a little bit of information which you maybe didn't expect with a couple of you know potential bangers. No, but they're both really intelligent guys. They're, they have a very high fight IQ. What I would like to see more from James is a hard jab, making Borzik respect the distance. Because right now, Borzik's just biding his time, looking for the way to, to change the level and come in. I think the other thing, too, is, you know, like the great Emmanuel Stewart, an old boxing coach, used to say, is you can't just stay still. Now he's throwing punches. Oh, yeah, he's getting busy now. And you can't turn away like that either. You know, uh, Borzik really putting the punches on. you got to move your hands. You can't stay there for 10, 15, 20 seconds before you throw a punch. you got to stay active. Judges are always watching you. And you're right. The, the turning away is, is, is an interesting optic. It, just, it, it looks as if you're, you know, you're exiting. Yes. <laughs> Borzik doing a very nice job with the pressure. You know, James trying for the underhooks on both sides. He's alternating. But Borzik just with that great pressure using the head. He's Al, got, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I was going to say to you, you know, fighters like this are tough, Al, because, like, he's, you know, you, you want a little bit of, of space, right? And he's not allowing you that. Correct. Uh, you know, that and they're, they're big guys with such long legs, too. Being against the fence, they have so much to keep them on the floor. Uh, you know, if I'm Borzik, like you said, keeping leverage and everything, I would try and maybe sweep the leg. I don't think the knees are going to do too much unless he does what he's doing now and yank that leg out somehow. It's a tough fight for both guys, but Borzik for me is pulling it out right now. Agreed. Looking I know. for that neck, but he's got that arm in. Right. I, I just think, and Will, I don't know if you agree, it's a mechanical disadvantage in that in that position. It's a hundred percent mechanical disadvantage because you can't get the choke. You're on the wrong angle on top of that. You know, these guys are sweaty now. Oh yeah. Less than a minute to go in our second round for our heavyweight title, Carroll and Borzik. Borzik doing a nice job adding some knees to the thighs. You're starting to see the red mark on Carroll's legs. Right. The other thing I think Borzik should do, disengage, strike to the body, shoot uppercuts, go back to the leg, keep fainting and faking. Eventually, Carroll's going to have to defend one thing or the other, and the takedown will present itself. Is it impossible right now for Carroll to get out of that situation? Nothing's impossible, but he's in a very tough spot. That's for sure. He needs to actively work to get out. He, um, needs, he needs to get a lower center of gravity in three ninety. Absolutely. But again, it's easier said than done when you've got a strong man that knows how to use his weight like Borzik does. Yeah. Borzik is fighting very intelligently. Less than 10 seconds. And we've got one round left to go for our heavyweight championship. And I think Carroll's got a little bit of work to do. I think the question is, is Borzik in shape enough? I think so, maybe, uh, to go another three minutes of the same exact thing. Or is Carroll fresh enough to pull something out of the hat here? You know, that's a really big question. I really, <clears throat> I think Borzik has the gas tank because he really negated Rati Datasvili's yep. offense completely for three full rounds. Absolutely. And Rati has a gas tank that goes forever. So I, I really think he's going to have the cardio necessary. I agree. No, and Carroll's got to make something happen early in the rounds. If, if, if Borzik starts to close the distance, maybe that's, your, maybe that's where your opportunity is. I agree. I think another big thing, too, with Borzik is, uh, I mean, I, I'd start earning even more respect, show him that you're not tired, start punching him, start beating him up a bit, show, oh, it's the third round, you thought I'd slow down? No way. You know, and then start working that takedown. I think if he uses his hands more, he'd find surprising, and, but, and Carroll, too, I but think. But you got to respect James Carroll's power. Absolutely. You know, if, if the name of the game is is to win by the rule set, I mean, if I'm Borsic, why change? Right. Third and final round. If Carroll's going to change the complexion of the fight, it's probably going to be at the outset. 
yep. early on here in the third. Let's hope anyways to make it an interesting fight for sure. Borzig probably up two to nothing here. If I'm Carroll, I got long arms. I'm using a big jab to set up my kicks too. Use the uppercut, the rear uppercut, yes. step off. Absolutely. He's got to get away from that cage. Yes, and the circling is exactly what he needs. Perfectly said. And Borzik's mouth's open. Perhaps a little bit tired. Could be an opening for Kara. We'll see. Lesson. I don't care who you are. Al can attest to this. If you go three rounds of mixed martial arts, oh, you're, you're, you're tired. You're, yeah, you're, you're tired. You're dead. <laughs> Ooh. James got to be careful. Looking mm. for the kicks, but against the cage. Yep. Got to get off the cage here so we can have a... And you, you hear the minutes. crowd not exactly thrilled I'm, with, I don't with the dynamics either. of this fight, but... They're oh. not paying my hospital bills. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. And if the goal is to win... <laughs> there we go. That was great. He's got a circle he's gotta get, get off away. that cage. Okay, that was good. Some Four. signs of life for Carroll here. If I were Carroll, I would have circled off and gotten to the center of the cage where I, I have the advantage. Agreed. And he, you know, James is starting to look tired. I really think that that pressure is starting to kind of accumulate. Yeah. I don't think people realize. Certainly, I don't. When you see an when you see an athlete laying on somebody, how much when you carry that person's weight, it really does zap your energy. It just looks like there's not a lot of activity, but it's actually the opposite. He's just sucking the life right out of him. Well, for folks at home, think about this: put a 60-pound vest on and just walk around the whole day. You're gonna be sore at the end of the day. It's you perfect. Know? Yep. Well, and beyond that, not only are they, you know, resistant takedown, activating every muscle yes. isometrically to resist the pressure. Yep. That all takes oxygen. That all takes energy from the muscles. That constant squeeze. And that, exactly that too. Now you're changing the breathing pattern. They're not getting as much oxygen that way. Absolutely. Right. Well, Carol's got to do something and do something quick. If he was your teammate right now and you were in his corner, Al, what would you be telling? What would you be telling Carol? You got to punch that underhook and uh, circle as far as you can uh, and get his hands off the legs. You got to get a whizzer somehow or an underhook. Um, and and you got you got fire shots. You know. And he's got 45 seconds to do it. Too little, too late. Will do you think he's got? I really think that Borsik found the uh, the answer here yep. to James Carroll. Yep. Nothing to take away from Carroll, though. Such He's a tough guy. He's been in cage wars for so long. In three different weight classes, he has wins, too, you know. Uh, he'll be back better than ever, you know. And that's what they do at Brian Beery Jiu-Jitsu as well. And again, like you said, it's nothing against James Carroll. It's nothing about James. It's more about how well Borsik is executing his game. Absolutely. Stylistically, though, it just, it's been an ugly fight, and oh. Oh, that was a oh. Block. He's trying, but I wouldn't tie up. That's why. And that's what he needed to do probably at the beginning of the round. What a and great fight. It, a good fight, though. Great show of sportsmanship. Well, there's one that you didn't expect to go the, the no. distance on, Will. No, I did not. <laughs> Al, a little bit of a shocker for you, too? I thought by the middle of the second round, you would have seen someone start to fade a bit. I won't say who I thought, but... <laughs> <laughs> great fight though great show of uh skills by borzik and great defense by carroll as well you know and it's and it was there's some strategy involved in this as well i mean you, you see these two masses of humanity you think they're just going to come together and aim to slug it out but but borzik fought a very intelligent fight whatever his paths were to victory that's what he explored and he was able to do that and more than likely he'll be the champion once we get the judge's decision Still to come, our main event, Cirillo versus Dutil for the strawweight title. Cage War 62 continues here at Rivers Casino and Resort in Schenectady. We appreciate you all watching here at Stimulus.com. And momentarily, we'll go back into the cage for our final decision. And, you know, we would think that this would be a 30-27, but the judges have oh, proven to us crazy. that we cannot expect anything. Well, the last fight that we had was should have been 30-27 the whole way, and they... Somebody gave, they, yeah, yeah. That was, enough said. That was bizarre. All right, here we go. The scorecards are in. Mike Falvo's checking it out. Let's see what he's got to say. Bringing it up for the final announcement. As always, fight fans, let's have a round of applause for one hell of a heavyweight championship fight. After three hard-fought rounds of mixed martial arts, we go to the official scorecard. Judge Jennifer Deacon scores the fight 29-28 for Carroll. Chris Belinsky scores the fight 29-28 for Borzik. 
And Rob Exisa scores the fight 29. 28 for your winner by way of split decision and the new Cage Wars heavyweight champion. Out of the red corner, Tony Borsi. Well deserved by Tony Borsi. I'm actually. glad. I'm glad that ultimately resulted in a decision for him. I don't know how a judge can score it for for Carroll. I mean, I guess we're human. That's